Hello everyone and welcome to TNF TV. My name's Tommy Flanagan and today we've got a very special guest on the show. He's fresh off a best on ground performance last Thursday in the Vic Super Slam T20 Grand Final for Carlton, taking 4 for 15 to help the Blues win their third consecutive Super Slam title. It's great to welcome to the show Victorian Quick and TNF Ambassador Xavier Crone. Crony, it's awesome to have you here on TNF TV, mate. Thanks so much for giving us some of your time and having a chat with us. Thanks for having me. No worries, mate. So the Super Slam final last week, huge win for the club, the third Super Slam flag in a row for the Blues, rolling MCC by six wickets. Firstly, well played and congratulations to you and the boys on the win. Uh, what's the secret down there? You seem to have a bulletproof formula that's working really well for short format cricket. Yeah, um, certainly it was great to win another one. Uh, I think down in the Blues we take the T20 stuff quite seriously, so got a lot of guys that love playing white ball cricket and we've got a pretty good roster that's made for it as well. Having Mackenzie Harvey come back from the Renegades to open the batting for us was huge. And then guys with BBL experience like Evan Goldis and then Cam Stevenson as well. So a really handy addition to our T20 lineup. So I think it's a format we play pretty well. And I think our boys, are, yeah, we certainly enjoy doing it. And yourself personally, mate, an awesome effort with your 4 for 15 and winning the Player of the Final award. You got the early strike knocking over Buxton with the new ball, took a good catch to remove their other opener, Kieran, then came back later in the innings to knock over Cam Kellaway, who was looking the big threat and really solid at that point. Then you were able to roll through the tail, knock them over for 120. Uh, congratulations on playing so well in such an important fixture. Uh, you must be pleased with how they were coming out of the hand in such an important game for the club. Yeah, absolutely. That was uh, sort of nice to uh, come down from the top end and a little bit of breeze behind the back is always good as a bowler, but um, yeah, our T20 is sort of a big one on the team building pressure. One day it might be me taking the wickets, another day it's Eddie O'Sullivan or someone else like that. So it's a real team team uh, effort with the ball and uh, luckily it went my way on the, on, the, on the day. And looking to the longer format, you're the leading wicket taker for the Blues this season in the Premier First comp. You guys have had an outstanding year on top of the table, 13, 10 wins from 13 games. There's two games to go in the regular season and of course you're the reigning Premiers in Premier Cricket. On the back of the momentum you've been able to generate in all competitions so far this season, you have to be pretty confident that you guys can do some damage in the final in your quest to secure back-to-back -back titles. Yeah, absolutely. I think we've got a, a group that's at a stage in their careers now where finals is what we look forward to. Um, after a little setback against Footscray last week, it's uh, nice to be back playing with the red ball and I think finals is something we all look forward to at the start of the season and there's no reason why we can't go back to back. So on the weekend just gone, you had St Kilda all out for 105 and you're in a pretty good spot heading into this week at 3 for 96. You picked up 2 for 28 from 14, bold economically, but it was your opening partner Cam Stevenson who did the damage to the Saints, taking 6 for 43, career best figures. He also took 4 in the Super Slam semi-final. The two of you seem to be in a great rhythm at the moment, 51 wickets between you this season across all formats. You must take great confidence in the fact that both you and he are in great nick as we head towards the Premier Finals. Yeah, absolutely. Steve is a good mate of mine. We spend a lot of our time sending absolute dribbles to each other via our Instagram reels, but he's a hell of a bowler and um, he's just really starting to show his class. And on the weekend, he was back bowling fast, intimidating, sort of through the chest, through the throat. And I uh, managed to blow off a couple of gloves, a couple of fortunate ones, as Cam will admit himself, but it was terrific to see and career best figures for him were thoroughly well deserved. And you've played in all formats at the state level. I recall last season, your Shield debut for the Vix. You bowled really well, knocked you over Curtis Patterson, Jason Sanger, and you got Jack, Jack Edwards twice in that game. I'd imagine with the sort of form you were showing in the last couple of weeks, particularly in the Super Slayer final, Victorian selectors would surely be taking note and you'd be in the frame for a recall for the Victorian 11 in the near future, surely. That'd be nice, but at the moment, I'm probably just primarily focused on uh my stuff with Carlton, I've got been working on a few things with the bowling coach Adam Griffith at the VIX, and so really making sure I get that down pat before I sort of get too carried away. But if the opportunity was to come, I would definitely feel ready to, to take it and be ready to contribute to a win for the VIX, hopefully. And you had your first taste of coaching recently with the Victorian under 19 squad. How was that experience? How did you enjoy the coaching side of things? And is that something you'd be looking to do a bit more of in the future? Yeah, absolutely. I had an amazing experience in Adelaide. The boys were great. We had a couple of rat bags in the big country team, but they performed really well across the tournament. Uh, you mentioned Xander Buxton earlier. He had this great tournament, 200s. Um, Liam Blackford, who just made 100 for the Oz under-19s the other day. So we had a really talented squad and it was a lot of fun. And personally, as a coach, getting to learn off guys like Nick Speak with a wealth of experience and Tilan Samarira, the big Metro coach, who was helped out by Travi Dean. So 
just some of the conversations you have and walking the boundary lines with these guys not only helps to feed back to the to the young fellas, but even to your own games, you walk away and you're like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So hell of an experience and really enjoyed it. We'd love to sort of pursue that stuff moving forward. And you got to see some of the best rising stars in Victorian cricket. Who are some of the guys that you believe are going to be absolute stars of the future and people that Victorian cricket fans should look out for in the years to come? Yeah, um, we've already gotten to see some of them around, around first 11 cricket. We've got Buxton and Blackford, the two at the top of the order, which are ultra impressive with the bat. Guys like Harcrack Bajwa from Melbourne, the off spinner, he's performing really well across the carnival and he's one to definitely look out for. Um, and then with some great fast bowlings coming through, we had Austin Edwards Ark on standby for the Aussies. He uh, plays at Richmond, bowls with good ball speed. And then uh, Vinny Hoof from, from uh, the country down playing in Geelong, he, uh, he was uh, really impressive throughout the week as well. So there's some good stocks coming through and uh, plenty to look out for. And using our new TNF Black Edition stick, how are you hitting them? And what are your thoughts on the bat and the other TNF gear that you use? Yeah, I'm loving it. Loving it, planners. It's, uh, it's been a real nice one that Sheets has helped me out with. Um, personally picked out for him in India. So to be able to use that and uh, to be such a nice stick and to be well supported with the soft gear as well is an absolute treat. So really enjoying the black edition this summer. Well, thanks so much, Crony. It's been awesome to have you on TNF TV and hear some of your insights. Congratulations again on winning the T20 Super Slam and your best on ground performance. And best of luck to you and the Carlton boys in your quest to go back to back in Premier. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in to today's latest instalment of TNF TV. Please check us out on all the social channels Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. Give us a like and subscribe for all of our latest content. And head to our online store now, tnfcricket.com, to check out our range of elite bats, playing kit, and customized team wear. Get it done, and we'll see you soon.